Hi, and welcome to Introduction to Spreadsheets. I'm Mrs. White, your instructor for this course. This will be a short video that will give you some tips about navigating uh, through your course in Canvas and also point out some important things you need to read. So I'm logged in to my Apache Access account. Mine looks just slightly different from yours. My button uh, is called Canvas, whereas yours will probably say my online, online courses. So if you'll click that online courses button, then you should see your dashboard, which should look something like this. We're going to uh, click on the course, which is ITSW 1304. And then again, yours may look slightly different, but you should have um, a welcome page. And then um, you can move on through the course. You'll notice the navigation on the left-hand side. We're going to go ahead and click to modules. You can also get to that from the home page. But you'll want to read everything in the Start Here module, all of these items, paying particular attention to the course orientation page, which is going to um, tell you a lot of important information about how to get started, about uh, registering in SimNet, which is where we will do our work. Uh, we'll be working in the Microsoft Program Excel through SimNet. Um, there's information here about a free trial. And then just continue on at reading through that page. And then at the bottom, you can click Next. It'll take you to the Syllabus Link page, which just simply tells you you can access the course syllabus over here in the navigation on the left-hand side. In the syllabus, you'll find lots of information about the course, particularly you will find the information about the textbook. You can purchase the printed textbook, which looks like this picture, or you can simply purchase an access code, which includes an ebook, which is called a SIM book. So I'm going to click back to the modules and then just scroll through some of these items in the syllabus addendum. You'll want to take a look at that where you will uh, have my contact information, my virtual office hours, and my on-campus office hours. And then uh, you'll see the grading information, how the grades are broken down for the different assignments in the course. Also be sure that you read carefully the information about late work and makeup work for this course. Then we're going to scroll on down. Next. And here's your course schedule. Everything for the entire semester is listed on this schedule. It will also show up on your calendar, which you can locate over here uh, on the left-hand side of your screen. Uh, you'll get a calendar, which will include all of your um, assignments for all your courses. Also, over on this tab, notice that uh, you have an inbox. That's where any personal messages uh, from me will come to you. Also, you'll of, often want to check announcements. Every day I would recommend checking announcements to see if there's anything there. If I have messages for the entire class, that's where I'm going to um, put those. It's in announcements. Um, then there's information about tests, which in our uh, course will be exams and quizzes then um, information about your assignments. This gives detailed information about all the types of assignments. Then I'm going to just go back to the modules so that we don't have to go through each page and scroll down. You'll want to read everything in the Start Here module and then take the Start Here quiz. You'll also want to read everything in this McGraw-Hill Campus for SimNet module. In this, you'll find information on how to register in SimNet. It's very simple. You simply will click on this McGraw-Hill SimNet link. But there's information on how to do that. And then um, information here, what is a SimPath? That will describe for you 
that first assignment that you'll be doing in SimNet, which is called the SimPath. Now this next page, instructions for completing projects, this is kind of a lengthy page, but be sure to read that. There's in, important information there. Um, then the next page will show you how to, there's a, uh, a link to a document here that will show you uh, how to view your graded projects. So if you just click that, it'll download there in the corner. You just open it up and this, has some information and shows you in SimNet how to look at your graded um, projects. So lots of things to look at in the start here and the McGraw-Hill module. The other modules will have introductions for each module, tells what chapters are covered in that module. There will also be tips for projects from time to time. These are very helpful. Uh, these are tips that I have written for you uh, that will give you some guidance on the projects. Also, the PowerPoint slides for each chapter are included here for additional help. Uh, when you click on the PowerPoint, it's going to load in this window, but it will not be visible here in PowerPoint. If you click on this where it says download, that will download the actual PowerPoint slides. You can click it and then it will open up in PowerPoint. And in this way, when you look at it, you can see the presenter's notes at the bottom of the screen, which will um, give you more information. And you can click on the different slides um, over on the side, and then you'll see down at the bottom, you have um, more information, more, more help to explain the slides to you. So. Those are just for a little additional uh, help if needed. So when you get ready to register and go into McGraw-Hill SimNet, click that button on the navigation. Your screen's gonna look different. It's going to ask you to register. Um, but when you get into SimNet, let me go into the course. All right, and here is our course. This is the assignments page. It will show you all of the assignments, or you can go over on this left-hand side and choose to see only certain assignments, like for example, the SIM books. There's a SIM book for each chapter that we'll be covering. This SIM book is identical to the printed textbook, but you can choose to only use this uh, SIM book if you prefer not to buy the uh, printed textbook. It is exactly the same as the printed textbook. So that's a personal choice. So you can go through and take a look at everything that's um, in the chapter this way. You'll see these show me, guide me, let me try features. These are also in the lessons. Um, this is an illustrated um, sound and and audio, or pardon me, audio and visual. So I'll stop it right there. Uh, that's just to give you an idea of how the show me works. The guide me will prompt you and then the let me try allows you to try without any assistance. So those are just some good um, training tools that you can use. Um, we're going to go back and look at the assignments quickly. So each assignment is listed in due date order. You'll notice that those uh, SIM books and then lessons have a due date at the end of the semester. These are not required, but I had to put a due date on them in order for them to show up for you. Um, the SIM book is useful even if you, um, even if you have the printed book. The lessons are just optional additional help that you can use. So let me take you back over here to Canvas. Um, just be sure that you look at everything here um, for a good start and please um, call 
or message me uh, in the inbox here in Canvas if you have any questions. 